Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I mean, obviously the the goal is the Paris Olympics is is the pinnacle, and so who doesn't aim for the top spot on the Olympic podium, right? Despite already owning a couple of Olympic gold medals, Ryan Krauser still aims for more and is hoping for another at the Paris Olympics very, very soon. Give chance to others is not a saying that applies to sports. Just because you already won once doesn't mean you are honor bound to let others win. Of course, some athletes, better, faster, stronger, will one day come along, but that does not translate to just giving up and not making an effort to win. Nope. It doesn't work that way. Krauser definitely does not operate that way. As a matter of fact, the American track and field athlete who competes in the shot put and discus currently owns two Olympic gold medals and three world titles. What makes his feats of strength all the more incredible is the fact that he accomplished many of them while doing more coaching of others than being coached himself. Most of you are probably not aware that Krauser has been primarily self-coached since 2016, with some help from his dad, Mitch, a 1984 Olympic discus alternate, and a few others. And just in case you missed it, in addition to being self-coached, he has also been a volunteer assistant coach at the University of Arkansas since late 2019. As such, he has written weight training programs, assisted at practices for shot put, discus and hammer throwers, and even shared the gym in his barn. At the same time, track and field athletes and swimmers often become volunteer assistants at universities after graduating in large part to gain use of the tracks, pools, and gyms on campus. That's true for Krauser too. The six foot seven Oregonian said teaching younger athletes also made him understand the shot put better and throw farther. It helps me stay more passionate for the sport, he admitted. It kind of keeps it in perspective. It can get very frustrating at the level that I'm at, where you're chasing one centimeter and trying to find the smallest improvements. I can get so laser beam focused on myself and kind of get a little bit down when I'm not throwing as far as I want to be. But it can be helpful to have the college kids there for perspective. I was in their shoes once and look at far how I've come. He has come so far, yes but he's no stranger to health issues. Sadly, he has been mostly derailed for most of the season because of an injury. Best up my ulnar nerve at World Indoors. Um, as soon as I started to get that cleared up, I tore my pec, uh, benching, and then back to the ulnar nerve again. So it's been uh, kind of just one thing after another. And so I didn't get cleared to throw until the week of Prefontaine. So in case you forgot, that was in the latter part of May. While it may be so, he hadn't made his first competitive throw of the outdoor season until last month. Although he was slated to throw at the Prefontaine Classic in Eugene, he opted to drop out of the meet as he was still on the mend. That week marked the first time he was able to train, or complete a movement that he would consider a real throw. Since he took home the gold medal at the 2024 Glasgow World Indoor Championships in early March. Will this late start to the outdoor season change something for him or his future performances? Well, over the past eight years, Ryan Krauser has established himself as the greatest men's shot putter of all time. At this year's USATF Olympic trials, though, he was simply doing what it takes to get by. There, the two-time Olympic champion and two-time world champion, who owns seven of the top 10 throws in history, kicked off his third US Olympic trials while battling through multiple injuries that have altered the course of his outdoor season. Finally, back in front of the Hayward Field crowd for the first time in nine months, Krauser's adrenaline kicked in. You know what that means. He went through limited warmups before unleashing an attempt of 21.44 meters, equaling 70 feet and four and one quarter inches, which was good for the third best mark of the evening. A lot of focusing on efficiency today, expending as little as possible to get through, the athlete said. Oh, uh, yeah, feel, feel good. I think the biggest thing it, it, in this execution when I don't have a full outdoor season to rely on is kind of practicing and replicating what I'm trying to do in training. So I feel like I've done a good job of that. Krauser hoped that as long as he could navigate his way through the trials and earn a bid to the Paris Olympics with a top three finish, six more weeks of healing and training would leave him in good shape to defend his title. 
And so, to no one's surprise, the American champion pushed through the pain to capture his seventh U.S. shot put title. He basically owned the night in the shot put final as he reminded the world what he's capable of, even when he's nowhere near 100%. Krauser launched a throw of 74 feet, 11 and 1 quarter inches at Hayward Field to capture his seventh U.S. outdoor national title. The winning mark came on his fourth throw of the day and pushed him comfortably ahead of Joe Kovach, who finished second at 73, 7 and 1 quarter. You never want to go into an Olympic trials not knowing what kind of shape you're in, he said. But that was kind of how the cards were dealt this year. I kind of surprised myself a little bit out there. It kind of took getting out there, getting in the ring, and finding that intensity again. I flipped that switch and felt like my old self, especially in the later rounds. It goes without saying that the table is now set for Krauser to start his bid at the Olympic Games Paris 2024 to become the first man ever to win three Olympic gold medals in shot put. Kovac has won silver at the last two games. By his form, you probably wouldn't have guessed that in the months leading up to the trials though, there were moments where he was unsure if he would be healthy enough to compete in Eugene this week at the level he is accustomed to. In front of a Hayward crowd of 11,852 ticketed spectators though, he dug deep. I was going to come out here regardless, even if I was going to be in a wheelchair, he claimed. It was a tough spring to say the least, he admitted. I was just happy to be out here competing again. You never want to open your season at the Olympic trials if you can help it, but that's kind of what it required. Kovac echoed Krauser's sentiments, saying, This is the hardest team in the world to make, and we're honored to be able to send a really strong team this year. Overall, Ryan, along with Joe Kovac and Peyton Otterdahl, qualified for the 2024 games. There, Krauser is eager to defend his now eight-year reign of dominance over the rest of the world and could be the first man to win three Olympic gold medals in the event. For context, he qualified for his first Olympic Games in 2016, where he brought home his first gold medal, setting an Olympic record with a throw that went 22.52 meters. He became the first American man to win the event since 2004. He then broke the indoor world record with a throw of 22.82 meters in January 2021. Later that year, at Olympic trials, he made history when he broke a 31-year-old record for the longest shot put ever recorded, with a throw of 23.37 meters, which is roughly 77 feet. Simply put, since his first gold medal, Krauser has racked up Olympic hardware. Including the 2016 Olympics, Krauser has won seven medals, five gold and two silver, from professional competitions. As he said, nobody wants to lose. And so, if there's a chance to compete, there's going to be a competition. But it is more than just winning. Beyond the records, beyond the accolades and titles, it's mostly about me trying to be as good as I can be. Watch this to see who else made the team bound to Paris.